let's talk about what we call the East Valley, the cities of Chandler, Gilbert, Mesa, and Tempe. The cities of Chandler, Gilbert, Mesa, and Tempe are located in the southeast portion of the Phoenix Metro, and it's very commonly referred to as the East Valley. So uh, let's dive right into it and get started with the city of Chandler. Chandler has a population of 275,000 people. It's on about 65 square miles, and the elevation is just over 1,200 feet. Um, it's one of the more popular uh, places in the, in the valley, and I've seen a tremendous amount of growth um, over the past 20 years. Um, a lot of big uh, tech influence in this part of the city. Uh, Chandler is known as the epicenter of the tech scene here in Phoenix. So a lot going on. Intel has a huge campus. One of their uh, largest facilities in all the world is located uh, in Chandler, and they're making a huge investment of over $20 billion over the next two decades. So a lot going on tech-wise here in the city of Chandler. One of the reasons that Chandler is so popular, especially with a lot of the tech companies that are moving to uh, the Phoenix area or expanding, is its location. Um, it's at a confluence of the 101, uh, the Loop 101, the I-10 freeway, and the Loop 202. Uh, plus, it's only about 15 to 20 minutes away from the airport. So um, if you need to get in and out of town and get uh, catch a flight, it's a great location to, to live in. Um, and with all those different freeways coming together there, if you need to be in other parts of the valley, uh, like Scottsdale or in the West Valley, um, you've got easy access to all different parts of the city. The neighborhoods in Chandler are pretty homogenous, like most parts of Phoenix. Um, a lot of development and building over the past 20, 25 years. So most of the neighborhoods are uh, master planned communities. They're gonna have uh, the modern homes with tile roofs and stucco siding. Home prices are gonna range from about 400 on up to you know over 4 million if you want. Um, there are condos and mobile homes that are available, you know, as low as 50,000, but you know, you know, you can find something uh, in that style for you know that 50 to 300 range, but most single family homes are gonna be in that 400 to 800 range. As far as outdoor recreation is concerned, there aren't many mountains in the city of Chandler, um, so not many um, hiking options, but there are a ton of really cool parks. The biggest one is the Mesquite Groves Aquatic Center. It's basically a, a city-owned water park. Uh, they've got some really cool water slides. They've got a 750-gallon bucket that fills up and pours out over onto people. Um, so lazy river, several different pools. It's a pretty amazing facility. For what they lack in mountain hiking, uh, the city of Chandler makes up for in bike trails. Lots of, uh, you know, tens of 20 uh, miles of bike paths that you can get on and enjoy. So if you're uh, into riding a bike or uh, going for a walk, there's lots of opportunities nearby to most neighborhoods where you can get out and take a walk down a biking path. If you're into outdoor sports like tennis or pickleball, which is super popular now, Chandler has a, a lot of really good facilities for that. So uh, you have the opportunity to go and uh, play these sports all times a year. I know a good friend of mine that lives in Chandler, and he's big time into pickleball and there's a lot of lighted facilities. So even in the peak heat of summer, he and his friends are out there um, and there's usually quite a crowd that's uh, wanting to play some pickleball. So um, lots of different opportunities and facilities for you to get out and take advantage of the wonderful weather that we have here and enjoy some of these outdoor sports. The Chandler Fashion Mall is going to be your best opportunity to get out and do some shopping. Um, it's one of the more modern facilities here in Phoenix. It's an indoor mall, so you can go even in the uh, peak heat of the summer. Uh, whatever shopping you need to do, it's a great spot for that. And they've got all the major department stores. You know, being a newer city, um, uh, most everything is a you know strip mall or a shopping center. A lot of uh, franchise dining options. Um, there is a good combination of local uh, uh, restaurants and, and shops as well. Uh, but most of what you're going to see in Chandler is going to be newer franchise type stuff. There is a cool historical downtown area where uh, lots of you know hundred year old buildings, uh, kind of a main street vibe to it. There's a park there where they have uh, different markets and festivals and stuff. So uh, some fun bars and restaurants in that part of town. So if you're wanting to get out and kind of experience a little bit of that older facility and uh, main street type uh, setting, uh, historical downtown Chandler is a great way to get out and experience that. 
The biggest event that's held in Chandler each year is the Ostrich Festival. It's a combination of state fair and with an ostrich theme. So you can uh, ride the rides and have all the different crazy food options that you uh, expect at a fair. But uh, it's got kind of a cool theme with the, the ostrich history in the city of Chandler. Um, it kind of a little bit out of left field, but uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's been a, quite a while since I've been, but uh, the, they do a really good job. So uh, lots of fun things to do. Uh, it's worth the trip if you don't live in Chandler, but if you live nearby, it's a great opportunity to get out and have some fun. As I mentioned before, there's a huge tech presence in the city of Chandler. Um, Intel, uh, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, a lot going on in Chandler as far as employment opportunities, especially in the tech sector. Uh, lots of people moving here from all corners of the world. Um, so that leads to Chandler actually being a pretty diverse uh, community. So you've got people of all different uh, races and backgrounds and cultures. So it's, um, it's a really fun place to go, especially when you go to different events. You're going to run into people from uh, all different ways of life. If you're considering a move here to Phoenix, be sure and check out my free relocation guide. It's full of information on all the different cities and communities here in the Phoenix metro area. It's also a great way to learn about our cities and which may be the best fit for you. The city of Gilbert is located just east of Chandler. It has a population of about 270,000. Um, it's 669 square miles and it's also about the same elevation of uh, just over 1,200 feet just south of the 60 highway through the East Valley and it also um, has the Loop 202 that passes through the city. So uh, very well located. Um, it's kind of a bedroom community so a lot of the employment centers are in other parts of the city. Um, so a lot of the residents commute to other places along the 60 and the 202. Uh, but uh, Gilbert, a lot of the homes are uh, were built in the 1970s and 80s and before so a little bit older community than the city of Chandler, uh, but there's still been a ton of new construction on the southeast part of the city. So a good mix of older mature neighborhoods with a lot of communities that have newer homes. Uh, home prices range from the lower 200s um, on over 5 million if you want to spend that much. Um, like most of the cities, there are some mobile home options that are under 100,000, uh, some town home and condo options that are a little bit cheaper, but if you're looking to get into a house, you're probably gonna spend at least 250. Older neighborhoods are gonna have um, some block homes with shingle style roofs, but uh, all the newer master plan neighborhoods are gonna be like all the other uh, parts of the city, very suburban, uh, homogenous homes with uh, stucco siding and tile roofs. Gilbert has been a very popular choice for uh, different lists of the the best places to live or best places to move to over the past few years. So uh, a lot of growth and a lot of new people moving to the city. Um, one of the cool things is they have a, a very uh, up and coming historic downtown. Um, you know, some older structures, kind of a Main Street type feel, uh, but a lot of uh, development there. A lot of popular local uh, restaurant chains have uh, put restaurants there. They've got um, a lot of them are nightclubs as well, so uh, very uh, happening nightlife there in downtown Gilbert. Uh, but if you're looking for uh, local restaurants and a, a nice meal, uh, that's a great spot to go to. Gilbert's a lot like Chandler. Um, not many mountains, so not too many desert hiking type options, but they also have a lot of bike paths. So if you're wanting to get out and uh, ride your bike or go rollerblading or anything like that, lots of options. Uh, and all parts of the city so uh, if you want to be outside uh, Gilbert Regional Park is a really cool facility as well there's a big lake plus all of the different uh, sport courts you may need so if you're into uh, basketball tennis or pickleball and they've got you covered there um, it's you know a well-lit facility um, so a lot going on there a uh, great option to get out and uh, get some exercise Gilbert's in the southeast section of this of the East Valley um, so it's a little bit further from the airport. You're probably a half an hour away in most parts of the city. Um, you've got the Loop 202 that goes through the western part and the southern part of the city. Um, the 60 Highway um, is a great way to get right into Tempe and downtown Phoenix and get to the airport. So um, the biggest community in the East Valley is going to be the city of Mesa. Um, it's got a population of over 500,000 and is 140 square miles. So uh, very similar to uh, uh, Chandler and Gilbert. 
Um, it borders just north of those two cities. Um, it also uh, borders the 60 highway and it has the Loop 202 that cuts across the, the northern section of the city. So you've got great access uh, to and from uh, you know, Tempe or the city of Phoenix and Scottsdale. Um, it is a bedroom community, so commuting is uh, very common. So uh, traffic on the 60 and the 202 can be uh, uh, pretty hectic during the peak times of the day. Um, so, but um, on the northern side, you are uh, getting into the Superstition Mountains. So there's some amazing mountain views there and a good part of the city of Mesa. Um, it's like Gilbert. A lot of the homes um, in the community were built up during the 70s and 80s. So it's got a little older feel than a lot of the suburban cities in Phoenix. Um, you know, home prices are about the same. You know, you're looking at a start at about 250, 300 in most neighborhoods if you're looking to buy a house. Uh, there are options for condos, townhomes, and mobile homes that are going to be less than that. So a very affordable section of the Phoenix Metro. As far as recreation is concerned, there are some hiking trails in the Superstition Mountains that you will have access to um, in addition to those amazing views. Uh, so if you want to get out and get up into the desert hills, that's a great option. Um, there is a really cool and new uh, sports complex called the Bell Bank Park. Um, it's an amazing facility. It's on 130 acres. Uh, they've got every type of uh, uh, sports facility that you could need. There's several indoor field houses, um, softball, baseball, uh, lots of soccer fields, uh, a really cool pickleball facility as well. There are tons of uh, kids, uh, pro and amateur sports leagues that play there. So um, a lot of different events are traveling to host tournaments at this facility as well. So it's a, been a great addition to the city of Mesa. A lot going on there at the Bell Bank Park. Mesa is also home to that Oakland Athletic Spring Training Facility. So um, if you're looking to get out and see some baseball in uh, February and March, uh, that's a great option. Um, it's also home to the Mesa Amphitheater, which is part of their downtown uh, facilities. Um, they, it's a really nice concert venue, so lots of different uh, music shows that are put on throughout the year. Uh, it's an outdoor facility, so a uh, really cool experience if you uh, uh, attend a concert there. If you're wanting to get out and do some shopping, there is a mall in Mesa. It's called the Superstition Springs Center. Um, it's got pretty much everything you would expect at a suburban mall. All the big box uh, uh, department stores, plus uh, lots of different franchise chains. There's some cool um, independent local shops in there as well. Um, lots of uh, franchise dining options around there. Um, you know, one nice thing about Mesa is it's being one of the older cities here in the Phoenix Metro. There are more options there for uh, local and one-off uh, family type restaurants. So a really good uh, local food scene there in the city of Mesa. The cool thing about the city of Mesa is it has the Oregon Stop Pizza Restaurant. Um, it's been around since the 80s and it has one of the largest Wurlitz, Wurlitzer pipe organs in all of the world and it's quite the attraction. Uh, it's very popular. Um, the organ makes for a strong attraction and I know uh, each of my kids at one point during elementary school went on a field trip to visit and uh, have some pizza and check out the organ and learn all about its history. So it's, it's quite the attraction. Uh, most people uh, here in all corners of Phoenix have heard about the Oregon Stop Pizza. So it's quite the spectacle if you're wanting to get out and uh, have a decent meal and see something unique and something cool. Uh, but be sure and check out Oregon Stop Pizza.